Guess what, guys? What? What? It's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. So we're in the studio. Yes. Uh, getting ready to talk a little bit about what's going on in the social media world. Woo! All right. So tell everybody who you are. I'm Benjamin Hedgepath, general manager here at Beta House Studio. Married to her. She's the boss. I'm Jay. I'm their son. And I'm Elizabeth. I am the owner and CEO of Beta House Studio and YouTuber. So mm -hmm. there's a lot that's happened this week. A lot. Some good news, mm -hmm. some scary news, um, <laughs> all over. So let's jump in to the controversy first. Go for it. Okay. We'll, we'll start there. We'll start kind of deep this week with the Facebook election stuff. Yes. Okay. Yep. With everything going on there, with how mm -hmm. they're choosing to cover election uh, posts and paid advertisements. So this right. isn't even just like a politician posting. So basically they're... From what I understand, mm -hmm. Zuckerberg came out and said, basically, they're giving carte blanche to politicians for paid advertising. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, say whatever you want, mm -hmm. which is kind of scary, like, if you think about it, because the way you can hide paid advertising right now on that to make it look like it's an organic post and everything else. So a lot of weirdness with that yeah, one, especially right. considering they're trying to do truth on the site. I thought right. that was such a strange diversion. So he comes out with that, then the employees come back and say, hey, 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 wait, 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 I don't like this. <laughs> right. And so put out their own response to that, mm -hmm. saying that we don't think this is fair because it basically bypasses the fact-checking thing that they've been working so hard to put up. Right. Uh, and try to get that. So want to play a little bit of devil's advocate with this. Okay. 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 So let's think about this. Facebook is put in this position mm -hmm. where basically if you are leaning one way and you see a post that they fact check, you're going to accuse them of saying you're leaning towards the other guy because you fact checked this and said it was wrong. Right. So now face, you're going to say Facebook's Bias trying to block my content. Right. Same. The other side is going to say the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. And you're kind of put in a no-win situation right. with that one, in that you are then branded as being biased. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's the other side saying you're biased towards the other side, Right, uh, is what ends up happening. And if, if it's just a lot of back and forth bickering, which already occurs between the two sides... <laughs> That's yeah. politics. <laughs> every, everyone, every ad on the platform, in my personal opinion, should be fact-checked. Especially yeah. with the history of yeah. what's happened in the past. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just playing. I'm just trying to see it from Zuckerberg's side on this. Right. Why you would make this choice? Because to me, it just seemed a little bit odd. I know that some people are like saying, "Yay, free speech!" Rallying mm -hmm. free speech. But free speech in the media, when you're not given the correct ways to see mm -hmm. what you are viewing. So that you can come at it with the right eyes to look at it, mm -hmm. knowing like, oh, this is biased for this, this is biased for that. Like you would read an article from a certain paper and understand where they're coming from. Right. That's that makes it easy to evaluate what you're reading. But when you're not given those bounds to understand what you're looking at, it makes it much harder to weigh out. Right. Now Twitter though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dorsey at Twitter, so now we got Zuckerberg and Dorsey yep. going back and forth, came out with something. He did. On this. <laughs> Basically the exact opposite <laughs> view. Uh -huh. No paid ads mm -hmm. from politicians. I'm, I'm much more a fan of that. Yeah. I like that too. I like that, you know what, if we're going to do this, let's make them be organic tweets, let's make them go through... The same filter that everything has to go you through. You got to run the algorithm. And the yeah. Things, yeah, and that way it kind of lets the system weigh it out for sure. what's newsworthy, what's mm -hmm. people want to see. You right. can't trick the game with paid, right? Basically, with it, uh, which that's a whole nother long giant series of videos to get into all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not there are actually morning, yeah. channels yeah. devoted right. to just that. Uh, so. That is basically that in a nutshell. That is like the TLDR version. It was still kind of long going through all of it. But uh, exciting stuff coming on all of that. Like I'm, I'm anxious to see how the interior Facebook war oh, sure. with that goes on. I'm a, personally, I'm a big fan of what Australia does with their political system, period, when it comes to elections, in that 
you can only advertise like six or eight weeks out from the actual election itself rather than this on-running political season thing that we've got going on here. So the less political nonsense that's rolling around in my feed, the happier I'm going to be. So move on. Global Web Index. They released Ooh. a big thing. <laughs> and we'll have a link down below so you see it. And I'll There's even, a lot of visuals going on. And we'll this. have a screenshot going on over yeah. with all of this because they put out an infographic, so mm -hmm. it's the easy way to kind of see the whole report. Right. Yeah. The report itself, hold on, I'll tell you how many pages. It is. It is 33 pages. Okay. okay. Uh, so not super long, mm -hmm. but I will let you know it is not a light read. No. So you need to have your marketing head on and all of this <laughs> going through it. I was reading it to our 15-year-old last night who knows right. nothing about this. So oh, we're supposed to be out for dinner. He had to, he had to go through <laughs> all of this. Basically, the report mm -hmm. goes in and looks at social media usage, right. which is actually fascinating. And it's yeah. doing a global survey. Mm -hmm. The survey size is big enough that it's actually legit. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking mm -hmm. at 1.8 million people. Now, if you look at that global, I'll do the math real quick and throw that up, what that percentage of the global population is, it actually is pretty small. But anyway, um, still a really large survey size to look at so that it's not just, ooh, I talked to my five teens, and this right. is yeah. what they told me they're doing. Right. Uh, so, guess which area, Jeremiah, is using social media the most? Because I know you didn't look at it so much. Ooh. Um, globally. Like, so globally. I'm talking, like... Age ranges? Age range. Or places? No, places. 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 India. No. No? Latin America. Interesting. Yeah. Um, they are, like, all over it. Hmm. Like, they are... There's... Um, a couple of places that are even more than four hours of usage a day Which is, is the average. That's crazy. Oh, I thought you were going for just population usage, not No, time. time. Oh, time. Okay. But how much time you're on it? Because okay. that way kind of levels the playing field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, because that way you're not like saying, oh, they just have more people. That's why they're using it more. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole thing with it I found fascinating is that in developed world, Basically, they're seeing a little bit of a decline in total amount of time. Right. And uh, because with the whole idea that we're getting healthier. Yeah, by not with, being on it? By, well, <laughs> by using it smartly, okay. meaning that I'm going to be on here, I'm going to do what I need to do, and then I'm going to go do other things. I'm right. balancing, I'm working on my own health with that. Mm -hmm. And there are actually apps developed to help with that, right. like to monitor your time. and. Believe it or not, boomers are the least likely to use those apps <laughs> by percentage. Well, we talked about this yeah. last night. That's the generation that really grew up with television mm -hmm. the first time. And for them, that was their, through a screen, was their primary source of entertainment. Yeah. And so it's, it wasn't a huge surprise to me that they were the least likely to then restrain themselves. I found it interesting because stereo, I'm going to do total stereotypes for, for sure. what you see in yeah. media and things like that, is that you see typically more that generation talking about how, oh, they're just all on their phones, they're just all doing this. <laughs> yeah. When you see the trend is, they're trying to be more mindful of it and actually work on it. Right. Whereas the other segment of the population is not. So are they projecting? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe projecting. Not, not to mention the fact that millennials actually consume more print media, books, all of that, than their boomer counterparts. Right. Oh, we also, here's something, if, something to look at, too, when you look at it. I'm, we're going to do a deeper dive into it. But we were talking about, they were talking about Gen Z usage, mm. and they show years trends. Right. Now, we also pointed out that it, like, goes back to 2013. <laughs> so, the Gen Zers in 2013, like, mm -hmm. their social media would have, like, existed of Animal Jam. Club Penguin. Club Penguin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those types of apps. <laughs> Which is still social media through yeah. gaming. Yeah. But. It was just kind of funny yeah. thinking about how you try to track that. Mm -hmm. Because, in all honesty, most in that true age group, yeah. that many years ago, shouldn't have been on Instagram. No. They, no. they would have been under the terms and conditions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but then those social engagement platforms very much were there and were extremely heavily used. Yeah. So we were having fun. So... One fun thing to do with this, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of homework, is I want you to look at your phone and figure out <coughs> how many social apps you actually have. Because I kind of, what the average for our age range is One. seven. Like seven or eight. It wasn't that many. I'm, I have to pull up the number. And but it was uh, interesting looking as we started naming them. And we're yeah. like, well, that's technically social. That's social. That's social. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Count yours up real so, quick, Ben. 
right? So under my social tab, right away, I've got Facebook, Twitter, and I've got Periscope. And I don't know if that's just the, you know, the video portion of Twitter, if that counts as one or two. Uh, I've got Snapchat, which I don't really use. Facebook Messenger. I can't. We kind of said if it's the messaging app of the thing, if it's got a direct connect, mm -hmm. then I'm not kind of One separate. login yeah. is how we kind of uh, defined LinkedIn. it. LinkedIn. I've got Yelp, which is technically social. Marco Polo, which I only know a few people who use that. Mm -hmm. Vero, which is kind of a failed social media platform, but I've got it on here. Mm -hmm. I've got WhatsApp. I've still got House Party that nobody's using anymore. I've got the Meetup. We use House Party. Eh, no, we don't. Not our really. age, well, no, our age like, group uh, isn't you're, using you're, Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of my friends, it's... Uh, we've got a family yeah. stuff and nobody's, family's not using it anymore. Uh, I've got Meetup. I've got Nextdoor. I've got Reddit. I've got Pinterest. Uh, and I've got admin stuff. I've also got Slack, GroupMe, um, Instagram. I also uh, told IG. you yeah. Whova was one you didn't think about yeah. because it's meant for uh, conventions to be able to talk to other people at conventions. Right. Uh, this one. TikTok. Gosh. TikTok isn't in I've your got, social I've photo got yet. TikTok. Um, and then there's just other ones. I've still got more. So I'm, I'm last night when just doing a rough count, I was already at like 12 or 13. Yeah. Without digging in real deep. Yeah, I got 14. Yeah. So, but some of these, I need to, I, they're on here and I need to delete them because they're not being used. Yeah. yeah. So, so, just a fun exercise to kind yeah. of go through and try to do a little inventory. Just curious, what do you use? Mm -hmm. And that's a great thing for it to comment down below. What do you use? What would be the one you could not live without? Like, So, if, do you want them to rank in order of use? Like, most used down to least used, but you still have it? Yeah. Okay. Like, kind of a thing. So, when you do your inventory, you don't have to post everything you use, just do the total number. But, like, which is the one you cannot live without? Mm -hmm. Definitely good Twitter. thing to know. <laughs> um, something else interesting talking about TikTok uh -huh. as our yes. only TikToker at the table. Is yep. that the right term? TikToker? Well, I, sure. I have a confession to make. <gasps> Did no. you make a TikTok? I broke down. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Elliot, Elliot convinced me on it, and I now have broken my greatest ideological tenet, and I now have a TikTok. Oh, no. Oh, great. So that means we have to put a link so everybody yeah. can follow you. On this, well, yeah. um, but we'll put both of our TikToks on. Yeah, it. they're TikToks. <laughs> um, it is leading right now in downloads. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So um, it's the growing one right now. So <coughs> if I had to say app to watch mm -hmm. or to think about where should I be if I'm wanting to even. grow mm -hmm. uh, for business or for personal influence or that kind of thing, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great spot. There's, it's starting to find its feet. Think of. Early days of Vine and YouTube is where yeah. it's at right now for and that, this kind of feel. And that's exactly the gap that TikTok is replacing is the one that Vine left because we're seeing the same style of content yeah. produced like, on TikTok. Literally the same people. Yeah, even the same people, yeah. the, <laughs> the same big names who yeah. were sort of just kind of sleeper cells on YouTube waiting yeah. for the next platform. They're right. now back on here and back producing mm -hmm. their content. Yeah, I would say most Viners did not make the jump well to YouTube no, they when don't. Vine closed. No. Unless they already had a strong YouTube presence. It was too much content to have to produce. And yeah. Snapchat didn't fill that no. either. I know that in some ways they kind of were working on it, but mm -hmm. most people didn't make that jump yeah. straight from one to the other. Okay, so we missed something last week that we were going to cover. We did. Yep. And uh, because we just kind of ran out of time, it was going long. So we're going to jump into it now. And this is the Insta thread. Instagram threads, yes. Yeah. So, so is, that a, is that a separate app? It's a separate app, okay. yes. And so, why do they have to make a separate app? <laughs> because they it's, have a, three. <laughs> it's a separate data set to sell, that's why. Yeah. yeah. But sure. I was leading into this, and the first couple days I had the app, I was genuinely expecting not to really find any use or need for the app. My, my original intro for this segment was, Threads, the app you didn't know you need because you don't. But after using it for a couple days, I found that while I can't find a reason for you having Threads, it's incredibly convenient. Sure, there, there are a couple weird quirks with it. Like, you can't select, once you've typed something out, you can't go back and, like, select a specific part of your block and text and edit that, you have to erase all the way back to that uh. point and read. Yeah, that, that's been my big pet peeve with it. And there's no <laughs> feature on the app you won't find on Instagram. It's just, it's an incredibly... Uh, um, Useful? Yeah, it's an incredibly con well, convenient okay, okay. thing, especially since we're on slow data at the moment. <laughs> Being able to load just the messages and yeah. send those back and forth without having to worry about buffering Instagram mm -hmm. has been really nice. Yeah. Well, and if you have multiple accounts yeah. on Instagram, can you weave all those through threads? No. Okay. And 
to you can only operate on groups you started or were invited to while you were already on threads any groups you had before then that you were not the creator of mm -hmm. don't show up on threads threads is person to person unless you use it directly mm -hmm. otherwise. so it is fairly standalone then in some ways in some ways yes okay so it's not just porting over your dms basically yeah. it's okay. a little bit more than that okay uh so another I, uh, Instagram had some other news too, so right. we're going to jump into that. In that IG series, just mm -hmm. lost or launched. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to combine my words here. Now with that, we're actually going to be porting this over mm -hmm. soon. That meaning in future episodes to where we're going to have this on IGTV as well. Right. So that we'll have multiple platforms running with this. So we'll be working on how we do that. Because there's a couple of things to figure out because we don't have to record like five videos. Yeah. So how do we have four cameras so we can put yeah. a phone up over there. Yeah. Like yeah. How do we make all of this work? Um, and so with that, that's going to be coming mm -hmm. with it. I'm really excited though about that series that you can really set it. So it's more, to me, it's more of the YouTube options that, I've enjoyed being able to do. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and so that, people can get, when a new episode in your series comes up, people get a notification. Mm -hmm. Just like, again, like I'm ringing the bell on YouTube, and there'll be more um, following that will happen because of that. Yeah. yeah. you can. It just makes it easier to organize your content with mm -hmm. that. And are you ready? I'm ready. What day was yesterday? Halloween. Halloween. Well, okay. Yeah, it was Halloween. But what day of the week was it? Thursday. Thursday. Throwback Thursday is now an official official Instagram thing. Wow. Yeah, they, they made it a component of the platform. Wow. So, <laughs> just to let you know, so um, we were talking about boomers on media. You guys have the most throwbacks. So, <laughs> just, just for time get sake. them ready yep. because you can like schedule out some content <laughs> for a while for your Thursdays. Yep. So, anyway, that is big there. Now, jumping over to YouTube. My mm -hmm. nap. YouTube. Yep. Uh, so, can you guess what the big story is on YouTube right now? No. Shane Dawson? Well, Shane Dawson is big, <laughs> but I'm going to say this is bigger. Ooh, this is okay. bigger than Shane Dawson. And yes, I am still working on my Shane Dawson thing. It's just so much research. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is still coming. But the big thing right now, because so many creators are involved, and I guess technically now uh, by talking uh, yeah, about okay. it, yeah. we're getting involved okay. with it, is the whole 20 million trees. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that is going to be, that's like a big thing right now. Like all of these creators jumped in on it and do we know where we're at right now as of this morning? Yeah, I'll pull it up because we haven't looked at it. I would so, guess somewhere probably close to 15. Official hashtag is I think just 20 million trees. Is it, is it, I thought it had another title. I have no clue. And I've meant to write it down and I forgot to write it down. So now you're seeing me like totally screw up right now here because I was like looking. Team Trees. That was what it was. I was like, I was We're to 11 million. 11 million. 11 million, at time of filming. So, um, we'll put as many links as we can for that. The whole idea is Mr. Beast jumped on and said, wouldn't it be great if we played a 20 million trees by 2020? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Musk isn't the leader now. No, Musk got dethroned uh, on Wednesday yeah. okay. by uh, Toby Luke. So... Yeah. The big guys are like having fun mm -hmm. with this by who can donate the most trees so that they can dominate the leaderboard, which I think is absolutely a blast with this watching who's mm -hmm. been up. Oh, Susan's on there now. Yeah. Head of YouTube. I can never nice. pronounce her last name, Wojcicki or something like that. Yeah, I, was, Wojcicki, I just yeah. always just call her Susan. Yeah. Um, but not that I've ever met her to call her Susan, mm -hmm. but... Uh, it's fun to see how this is growing. I mean, PewDiePie's involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if you're a big creator if you're not involved yeah. Yeah. in some way, shape, or form. Like, I've even seen Minecrafters, yeah. Minecraft channels, jumping in yeah. with this, too. And There's, just yeah, all Jeffrey across the Star, board. you got Jeffree Star, Jacksepticeye, tons of, yeah. Ninja. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it, there's yeah. a lot of people. So, um, if you didn't know about it, now you know. Yeah. And knowing's half the battle. So. <laughs> yeah, Joe. <laughs> uh, so we'll have that link down there I would love to see this hit the 20 million by the end of the week wouldn't, you? Okay. wouldn't that oh, be yeah. so cool oh, yeah. like well okay not the end of the week let's say by Wednesday because like technically today's Friday yeah but right right, right. If, we, if it hit it by Wednesday I think they would just be like ecstatic because it would blow away everything oh yeah yeah YouTube's like matching a million too yeah mm -hmm. not Susan but YouTube YouTube corporate so, right and YouTube corporate so that's the happy news mm hmm Another one I've got to, we're trying to wrapping up here. We're reaching our time limit. Videos to check out. And okay, we'll have yes. those links down in the thing. 
One of them is Obama on cancel culture. Yes, uh, that was something that came up big on uh, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Rolled through a lot. So he was specifically speaking to Twitter people. Uh-huh. Uh, and yeah, if you have not seen Obama's, it's super short, super quick in an interview on answering questions. What do you think about cancel culture? Um, no spoilers, but yeah. he's not a fan. So, uh, we'll, <laughs> Who is a fan of cancel culture? <laughs> there are people, that's their gig. Uh, I guess we're uh, a troll. But he's, he, he drops a pretty hard mic on it, so we'll put that link down there. Who should I be following right now? Who should you be following? Ooh, that's a good one. Last week it was Bastille. Who is it this week? Last week, Bastille. Ooh. Lumineers has been working. They just a couple weeks ago dropped the last part of their new three album, which the music videos for that combined together into the short film got nominated for several um, film festival, like uh, prestigious awards and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that. That album specifically is one to watch for on movie soundtracks because a couple songs, specifically like My Cell or Left for Denver or Salt in the Sea, just the way those progress lend themselves very naturally to that. Right. And so I would not be surprised to see pretty heavy saturation from that album mm-hmm. into traditional big media. Yeah. Okay. Um, who would you want to follow? Do you think you need to check out? You need to check out? Oh gosh, I'm not prepared for that one at all. Um, I was just thinking while you're talking albums, to say if you haven't listened to Kanye's album (coughs) yet, you you, can check it out. That's last week's news, but yeah, check that out. I don't really have anything off the top of my head right now um, as far as follows. Okay. Um, and I would say this week I have been watching Minecrafters like way more (laughs) than I ever thought I would watch Minecrafters. So, um, little bit of a rising platform coming back around that's mm-hmm. kind of fun to see it mm-hmm. all the nostalgia yeah. there so there's some pretty crazy things they can build in minecraft so mm-hmm. oh, yeah. watch a couple of videos of those be like wow that's really cool they actually built that that's yeah. really cool yeah what, whatever you're a fan of movie wise look up and look for minecraft builds of that movie it's probably out there oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah so. so that's a fun one to check out yeah. so if you have not jumped into that genre jump into that genre a little bit check it out yeah so. and then uh, our son joel uh-huh uh, is going to give us a meme of the week so, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. we've got our meme of the meme week. Of the so week. that is so going to we'll, display we'll drop that on the screen. <laughs> right now. <laughs> so. so that is our yeah. meme of the week. So now you have been informed of a new meme. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Alrighty. So that is it for today. That is what we have to say on that. So let us know what you have to say down in the comments below. Click that like button if you enjoyed this as well as the bell notification. Smash so it. that you can know when new videos come up. Yep. So, let's go hit the editing floor. Let's do it. Yay. See you next week. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Bye.